Hey there, Jekyll McKibble here. Um, I am here to do a quick review on the Rothko Medic Satchel. Um, I'll probably do a video as a part two, so this will be a part one. To be honest with you, if you really want, I guess, a good budget of what you want to look for, a uh, satchel, haversack, or anything, this I would say I'll probably do my best thing of doing as a cheap option. There are good options for pricey brands like Hidden Woodsman, Tough Possum and all that. But, um, again, certain people couldn't afford it. And I made the great mistake of, like the previous video, doing the doing the uh, Three Rivers option, basically. So, let me show you what I have for the, uh, the uh, gear. Some of it's similar, some of it's different. So... Let's uh, get into it. So, uh, yeah. Just certain things are similar. Certain ones are completely different, as said. So, sorry for repeating the same thing. Yeah, let me uh, get everything out. Now, I have made it to where I could have certain things I could easily grab. Others, not so much. So, uh, sorry about that. This is all I have basically. Um, still running the rain. I have really fully ridden on it yet. We're not doing much. An AccuSharp, a cold steel Canadian belt knife. I have, of course, have the Ozarka little cheap compass. I also got the playing cards for boredom. Hand sanitizer, toilet paper with dude wipes, and Duke Cannon cold showers. Because, you know, why not? I do also have this uh, Swift Tech uh, solar powered and regular charge uh, flashlight and portable charger. Not, well, not really portable or lightweight, basically. A little cheap knockoff Swiss Army knife that I got to the Christmas present when I was a kid. And this one, actually, I was pretty impressed, was the Zippo Typhoon Stormproof Matches. Yeah, I finally got this, surprisingly. Then I also got some steel wool in here with some uh, Zippo uh, tenders. And then, of course, some first aid. I did put some stuff in there. So that's why it kind of looks like something in there. There's a torch lighter, and then there's a regular big lighter in there. And there's a lot of first aid stuff. Of course, I did had an old bar of Duke Cannon soap. I figured, why not just put that in there, and when I go find a place to take a shower, I could use that. Sometimes I put a put a shower in there, but sometimes it doesn't work that well. When I when this doesn't do that well, then I don't want it to drop. So I have this little guy, little travel size Duke Cannon thing in there, and really and honestly, it's not much of it. It's just regular World War II satchel that you get from rothko a little cheap 12 20 dollar thing honestly i like this better now i will probably show you the problems that it has that people were complaining that i honestly didn't see them have a problem with so to show you what i was talking about i may do a part two in around a few weeks or so i have a pilot at a job so either way this is the uh satchel that i purchased and that's the gear dump so yeah, all that in this little thing. Now, there's other things I left in, left away in there because they added more weight, especially with the Swiss tech right there. So, excuse me, I burnt a bit of a whoops over there. So yeah, but um, later on, I probably might, when I get a good enough job and all that, I'm probably going to get some gear that are cheap and affordable. And weirdly, Walmart has some pretty good new gears I've been seeing over where I'm at. So... Anyways, everyone, have a good day and have a great one.